This disturbing dashcam video was recorded by a motorcyclist driving down the mountain which had extremely sharp turns. He was driving fast like he owned the road. Well, believe it or not, he got humbled pretty quickly. The road has two sides and he was taking a last turn when he came face to face with a truck and then collided with it. He was thankfully not seriously injured, but it's still pretty scary because he was taken by surprise. The bike was all over like they owned the entire road, so they were obviously riding dangerously. But if you freeze at the moment the truck comes into view, you'll see that they were dead center in the road too. Even if the bike had stuck to their lane, there would have been a problem. The bike was more in the wrong than the truck, but nobody should take blind corners for granted. This terrifying event occurred in an Indian village a few weeks ago. As the population grew exponentially in the last decades, people were taking more and more lands from the wildlife, which often caused these animals to get lost or go into the cities and villages. This time it wasn't an elephant but a rhino, and this one was extremely aggressive. Have a look. <coughs> As you can see, starting by chasing the man on his bike and literally destroyed it, but luckily he could run away behind the trees. He then started running in the streets, but I don't think he was trying to chase another human, but he was instead trying to go back to the jungle. Rhinos are mostly blind, so it was normal that he didn't see the man after. Thankfully, he didn't attack no one, but it could end up badly if someone was in his way. A dramatic video captured the eruption of Colombia's Los Aburridos Volcano on Monday as it spewed mud and flames into the sky, sending onlookers scrambling for safety. The unexpected eruption took place in San Juan de Mulatos, a community in the Uraba subregion of Antioquia. Although no serious injuries were reported, multiple videos show plumes of flames and smoke rising as residents fled the area. <laughs> No, 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 eso no es bajo. Eso está demorando. Eso no puede pasar. Esto es la candela. El problema es la candela. Mira, ya salió. Vea, ya salió la candela. One video, a resident urged his family to seek shelter. <laughs> While three children were treated for smoke inhalation at a local hospital, according to a statement from Turbo Mayor Alejandro Abuchar's office, paramedics also assisted five people who fainted due to the explosions. The mayor's office further reported that 35 children were transported to a school in Los Mangos set up as a refugee center. 
Additionally, 16 families, including 30 minors, were housed in makeshift shelters in schools in Mantagorda and Santiago de Uraba. Authorities evacuated 109 families living along the road near Los Aburridos. According to the Colombian Geological Service, this volcano last erupted a decade ago. They confirmed on X that the eruption caused a release of sludge and methane gas that ignited, and a team of experts has been sent to assess the aftermath. John Londoño of the Colombian Geological Service explained that mud volcano eruptions are relatively common in Antioquia, Atlantico, Bolivar, Cordoba and Sucre provinces. He noted that these mud volcanoes are very different from typical volcanoes that emit lava and magma, which are more explosive and far-reaching in their impact. Drone footage captured a shocking scene as a 19th century mansion was destroyed by a landslide in Minas Gerais, southeastern Brazil. The two-story mansion, located in Oro Preto's historic center, was cordoned off by the fire department Thursday morning. About 40 minutes later, an avalanche of rocks from Morro da Forca crushed the neo-colonial home and an adjacent warehouse. People were running away in panic as the landslide was sweeping away everything on its path. The Oro Preto Municipal Civil Police reported no injuries or casualties, but locals mourned the loss of this historic structure in a city known for its well-preserved architecture, which earned it a UNESCO World Heritage designation in 1980. Recent heavy rains, which recently claimed the life of a resident in the area, weakened the cliff and triggered the landslide. Nearby residents were evacuated and authorities are conducting a detailed assessment of the cliff's stability. A Honduran Special Forces parachute display took an unexpected turn when skydivers aiming to land on a stadium football field were blown off course, with one crash landing into a portable toilet. The mishap unfolded during Honduras's 201st Independence Day celebrations on September 15th as 40 paratroopers leaped from helicopters at 6,500 feet, planning to land before cheering fans at Tegucigalpa's Jose de la Paz Herrera Stadium. However, strong winds threw the seasoned parachutists drastically off course, creating a close call that could have ended in disaster. Video footage shows their controlled descent quickly spiraling as four parachutists lost control, leading to a series of bumpy and chaotic landings. One diver dropped into the brass band parade on the track encircling the field, while another's parachute tangled in the stadium roof causing him to plunge into the crowd just in front of a stage where celebrities and VIPs were seated. Another landed just behind the main dais, where President Xiomara Castro, her family and government officials were stationed. One unfortunate trooper hurtled past the grassy landing zone and crashed directly into a line of portable toilets. Another soldier reportedly had a hard landing outside the stadium, resulting in a fractured foot and a hospital visit. 
The team had practiced for weeks leading up to this annual event marking Honduras' independence from Spain. Despite the mishaps, most of the skydivers managed to land near the target zone, with several offering crisp salutes to waiting cameras. This next clip shows the scary moment a truck driver lost control over his truck and it started to slide backwards. The truck was already slowly sliding down and the owner was about to put the wheel chocks, but the vehicle was going way too fast. He was waving at the people behind him to get away as the truck was about to crash. Two trucks went through before his blocked the whole road horizontally. The driver was disappointed, but to be honest, what could he do in this situation? I mean, trying to maneuver on icy roads is almost impossible unless you are a professional. I have to give it to him. That was very quick thinking, trying to sand the ground to let the emergency brakes grip while it was still moving very slowly. Under other conditions, it may have worked. At least he didn't sit in the cab like most people would, or jump and run and not try to do anything. What would you have done? 